Hi everyone, Master Cruz from Master Organizing here. And today I wanted to show you a really you know, simple and easy way to organize your desktop, essentially for free. Um, you know, instead of looking for files everywhere, you can categorize your files and your um, folders here. So if you're wanting something simple like this, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that. So the first thing you wanna do is actually look in your system preference and you want to go to the desktop screensaver and you want to locate where the dimensions are for your desktop and on this computer it's a 1024 by 768 so once you locate that information go ahead and write that down somewhere because you'll be needing it um, and this is very important because you don't want fuzzy pictures or you know a small picture that doesn't take up the whole desktop like it should so once you have that information, you can go ahead and close that up. And the you know, website that I like to use is called canva.com. So when you type in canva.com, it's going to take you to a place like this. And as you can see, there's so many different things you can do with Canva. But in this case, we're going to do a, a customized desktop organizer. So you're going to click on this, use custom and dimensions and type in the dimensions of your desktop that we found, the pixelation. So on this computer it was a 1024 by 768 and it's in pixel form and you're going to click design. So now Canva has created you know, the correct dimensions that will fit your desktop. Now um, there's so many different backgrounds you could use, so many different uh, designs you can use, but for this sample, I want to show you how I made the one on my desktop. So the first thing you want to do is click the background, and I like this chalkboard background here, so that's what I clicked. Um, as you can see, there's other different options, or you can, you know, pay for um, natural-looking pictures if if you wish. Choose something that that's going to definitely inspire you. So you choose the background, and then I'm going to go to search and click on the lines here. Again, there's a plethora of different designs you could go with. I kind of like this uh, lined one here. Kind of looks like tape, putting tape on a chalkboard. So um, what you can do is you can adjust the lengths of these different lines and essentially you can make um, so many different categories. So first figure out how many categories are on your desktop. In my case, it was three. Uh, if you can see here, I basically have things to get done today, uh, folders to follow up on, and then my reference folders here. So I have three. Um, but with these lines, you can make you know so many different categories. So make sure to keep in mind how many categories you need to create um, a desktop organizer here. So. Once I have this tape, I'm also going to change the color, um, like this green color as well. And the cool thing with Canva is that you can copy what you just created. So there's that. Um, I'm going to do another copy. There's that. So let's say this is going to be the top here, like the header. And these other two, I'm going to rotate this way to create the division here. Of your categories and you can even you know do different angles if you want something you know fun funky if, if you like but um, I'm pretty simple so I just have these pieces of tape here you probably can even do a calendar if you wanted you know 31 days of, of things to do on your folder here all right so that's the three different categories now I'm going to go to the text and I'm just going to simply add text and the font that I use again there's so many different fonts the font that I used here, you know, it starts with an L, did I pass it there? Was the Londrina sketch. So I'm going to click that. And I had categories of follow up. Whoops. Um, so again, I can also copy this font so I'm not having to search for it all the time. So I'm going to say copy and then I'm also going to copy it one more time because I have three categories. So one of them is follow up, one of them is going to be 
reference. I'm going to go in this corner here. Follow up is in the middle. And then, oh, no, to do today is actually going to be in the middle. And the cool thing with Canva is, as you can see there, it lines up, you know, to make sure everything is straight. <laughs> If that's what you prefer and then you can also move you know these lines around if you're wanting to um, adjust the lengths of that so that's pretty much my three categories um, pretty simple there so you want to make sure that um, things are saved so say if you move something it's gonna say camera's gonna save it make sure it says saved okay perfect so once everything's saved you can go ahead and download it as an image because you want this desktop picture to be as clear as can be. So it's downloading it. Um, and if you, you know, decided to get a picture, it's going to ask you to, to pay, you know, whatever pictures you purchased here. But um, like I said, this can all be completely free. Um, so this is the design. It looks like, you know, it got cut off there. So the cool thing with Canva is that you can actually still fix it. I'm just going to extend this all the way out. Let me shift this down, shift this a little bit more centered. Make sure it's saving. Okay, so I'm going to say download. Let's take a look. Hmm, it's a little bit still cut off. Okay, so let's make sure that it's saved again. Um, adjust this a little bit. Okay, it's saving. All right, now let's download it. Let's have a look to see what it looks like. All right, perfect. So that's kind of what the desktop will look like. So what you want to do is save it once you open it, you know, to a location of where you want to save it in for, I'm just gonna put it on my desktop. Um, and call it desktop organizer. Click save. So now it is on my desktop. And pretty much we're done with Canva here. Um, so what you're going to do is just to show you how to replace what currently is on your desktop is, um, as you can see, it's actually right here, is you're going to go to system preferences again. And then you're going to click on the desktop screensaver. Um, and then as you can see, that it's right here. So you're going to click on that. And it's changed. So then you can go ahead and move around the different files that you like here. Um, and that's how you organize your computer desktop. <laughs> so let me know um, if you liked this video. Uh, share with your friends, and if you want even more great organizing tips, let me know in the comments below. Um, have a great organized day, and I will see you next time. Thanks.